Hey guys, welcome back. This is Val from Dreamlighting. Today's video, I'm going to do a video review of the Ethel Hair for Genesis 8 and 8.1 Females by Windfield. This is quickly, this has quickly become um, you know, one of my favorite hair props uh, currently. And it's because I love the design and the quality of this amazing looking kind of glam style hair prop, right? So just looking at the render, uh, promotion renders, it truly strikes me just how beautiful this hair is. And, well, I mean, I'm just blown away. All right. And in particular, I love this hairstyle 10, which has additional hair strands going on here, right? So it's really cool. And a lot of the nuances it has, this little bit kind of like a flare up here, right? Super, super cool. All right. So um, there are a few more. Most, you know, hair props have some more, so you can adjust in the parameter tab. I'll show you how to access them. And then we have some uh, wind options, like blow options, and so forth. And of course, the 10 styles. And then we can have also color changes, right? So we are inside the studio here, and I've got the hair already loaded on the model. And you can find this inside DAS, my DAS, DAS Studio Formats, my DAS Library, People, Genesis 8 Female Hair, and WF Ethel Hair. Now you've got the load icon here, you've got Material Ivory Presets, you've got a Hair Color, lots of cool options. I, I'm just, I, there's something about that, you know, pink hair, it just looks amazing. So let me just select that now, let's go for Ethel Hair. And let's choose pink. And that looks awesome. Man, I love pink hair. Not on myself, all my female models, right? So, you've got also utilities, which is like backlight high or backlight default or so forth. And this will kind of change how the hair prop reacts to lighting, all right? So backlight high, will have a specific outline on your hair prop and if you turn that off it will not have that outline so it's a very cool feature i don't see many hair you know designers well in the 3d world here on that right do which is really cool i love this this is great so you also have presets which means you can add wind or position on you know the shoulders and all that so for instance, you can hide behind both shoulders, which is really cool. Uh, you can have that style 10, which is one of my favorites, which extra hair strands. Just looks amazing. Just looks, I mean, this hair prop is so cool. Let's zoom in a little bit so we can get a little bit closer. You know, by far, I would go as far to say that this is the best hair prop at Daz. It's just so breathtaking. Just incredible. Go get it now. That It's that good. All right. So we have the wind options, of course, right? If you want to add some wind options, you can move that quickly here as well. Just incredible. All right. So like I also mentioned, I'm going to show you where to find those um, additional morphs, so to speak, here in the actor you have um, additional adjustments for the hair right so this is where you can find them if you want to tweak things a little bit more in a manual fashion all right so as an extra bonus today i want to show you how to recolor your hair using a very cool technique and what i'm going to do is i'm going to render this out just the way it is right now so let's just do let's just keep it as as it is and go for select quality we're going to use quality um, one and just make the render now i'm gonna pause the video while this is rendering then i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna do yet an additional render uh, with a different you know uh, color on the hair and then i'm going to show you a really cool technique inside photoshop when we gonna you know uh, kind of hand paint different colors and all that uh it's really cool so i see you in a moment 
So um, ideally I would spend more time on rendering these to get them really crisp and sharp. Uh, this is just my laptop and uh, after two minutes it looks pretty decent so I'm just going to go ahead and cancel and save my render. And so I'm just going to call it Hair 1 BMP. Alright, now let's change the color of the hair prop. So I'm going to go ahead here, have the hair selected, go back and go to materials, hair color. And let's use something else. Let's use maybe this one or well, this one, the blue. Ah, let's take green. We are having fun with colors, right? Let's make the render. Now, there are always multiple ways of achieving multicolored hair. This is just one of them. So, let me just show you how that works in a scene moment. And again, it looks decent after two minutes. So, I'm just going to go ahead and cancel and save the render. All right, let's call it hair two. Cool, let me turn off rendering and let's jump into Photoshop. And in here, I'm gonna just throw both of my renders in here. All right, so I'm gonna stack one of the renders on top of the other. Control A, Control C, Control V to paste and use Command on the Mac instead of Control, of course. Now, the, the most basic thing you can do here is to click down here on the top layer, down here, to create a mask, then use black and white color and use a gradient tool to just paint a kind of a, well, a blending or transfer of your hair prop, right? And that looks just amazing. I mean, come on. It looks breathtaking. All right. And there is a few things you can do with this. You can do maybe like so instead or vice versa. So it really can, you know, quickly add uh, a ton of different nuances um, just in seconds, uh, which you can have really fun with, right? But one thing I want to show you in particular is, let me remove that. Uh, remove layer. And, oops, I want to do not apply. I want to just remove and delete. All right, create a new fresh mask. Now, what I want to do here is paint with black because it's white currently. Uh, you can also do vice versa if you want the, uh, the the pink to be beige. You can fill this with black, right? But uh, here I'm gonna paint with black on the white. So I'm gonna just create here a brush and paint with maybe 20 or 30 percent. Then you can now paint different hair strands of that color. And so here you can kind of design the hair just the way you want it. And this is just breathtaking. I love this hair prop, man. And because you're using a low opacity here, you can really play and, and you know, work your way with this, right? So an, an additional thing you can do is you can use a smaller brush and uh, use a higher setting here to highlight certain, you know, um, hair strands, right? And I can do even smaller than that. Just highlight in particular if you want something really to stand out. So you can have a multi layered hair prop and just beautifully design it the way you want. And it's super easy, super fun, and super quick. And it looks amazing. So, again, ethyl hair, just incredible. I think, you know, I've seen, I have a lot of hair props in my, in my dad's uh, ransom library, right? But this one just truly stands out. It's just something about it that just makes it look so incredibly uh, realistic, well done, detailed, and glamorous. So guys, if you wanna check this hair out at Daz, check out the link below. If you wanna master Daz Studio, we have a special $1 trial right now for our cool um, Super 3 Art Quick Start. So go ahead and check that out below as well. Thanks so much for watching. Comment below if you find this video useful and I'll see you soon again.